start or make sure that you see it. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you are. If you're watching me now, thank you very much for watching me. And remember, please subscribe, share, thumbs up, and give some comment to Marie and Melo. Anyway, I'm going to do some steam fish this afternoon. And I bought some fish last week, and I cook two, and I have two more here. So it's already pre-seasoned, washed clean, and pre-seasoned. I don't remember the name of it. Do you remember the name of it, Melo? The name of this fish? Okay. Well, anyway, something like snapper. I bought it at the West Indian store. So I'm going to season. I already seasoned it up, so it's there already seasoned and thawed out. And come over here. Let me show them these things. I pre-prepared them in advance to save time. So this is what I use. I use onion. Scallion, red onion, red pepper, yellow pepper. I have a little of these um, garlic. I have some, um, what's it called? Chocho, yeah, chocha. I slice them in thin slice. I have some um, okra that I have here. It's already here. It was already into the freezer thawing, so I thawed it out. And this is my um, carrot that I have cut in thin slices. So what I did with the carrot, this is what I did. I cut it like this in very, very thin slices, just like that. I don't need no more, so I'm not going to cut any more, but I just showed you at that to give you an example. Then these potatoes, red, green, purple, all different types, these yellow, see what they call them, little, baby, trio, tra tra traffic, or terrific, trio, potato. I use them, and there they are. So I just take some of that, and this is what I did. Can you see it good? I cut it up into small bits, so this way it can cook real good. That's my green pepper. This is my celery. I cut them up in small. And I have a little piece of... um. Um, what do you call this again? Oh boy. Not banana. Plantain. A small piece was left in there. We took it and we make some plantain porridge. So what I did, I just cut it in little strips and I'm going to put it between there also. Never did that before, but I'm going to do it today. And these here, it's just a little strips of, um, ginger. Because I like to give a little ginger taste into my stuff. So everything is already prepared to give you an advance. So these are gonna be used to cook down first. Ah, this thing is very strong. Whoa, I know. I'm gonna cover it up for a while. I'm gonna turn my stove on, preheat it. I should have done that in advance, but that's okay. <coughs> Ginger is very hot. So these are all the things that left. My onion, my scallion, my red pepper, a couple of it. I didn't want to use too much. So this is what the balance of it here. And this is the celery stick that I use. I cut about three of the celery stick and I use them. But I just want to show you the things that I did. You know, so I have extras. These was already washed, soak and put, you know, into water to soak for about 20, 25 minutes. Let me put these things back in the refrigerator. Right. So right now, I'm gonna kind of stew this down with, there it is, coconut milk. I wish I had the real coconut, but you know, this is coconut milk and I'm gonna mix it with some of this noodle. So this way it can cook down a little bit. And after it start cooking down, what I will do, I will cook it down to save a lot of time. I'm not going to stay with you all this time because I don't know how to pause and go back and put it in one. When I do that, the next time it will be much different. I'm sorry. So right now, I'm eating up my pot. I'm just going to put just a small bit of um, olive oil, organic olive oil, just about a tablespoon. Cause I don't want too much oil. Show the oil. 
you know see organic extra virgin olive oil so i have it there and remember my fish already seasoned with salt and pepper and all of that i have some of this to put into there when it's ready so i'm just gonna saute down those for about a minute then i'm gonna cook everything down and then after everything is finished sometimes i like to brown <coughs> this just for a little bit but today i'm not gonna do that after all that is cooked down steam down for a few minutes then what i will do i will come and i'll put my fish on it cover it up together and let it stay there for about 20 minutes so instead of sitting here all this time 20 minutes can you see my face 20 minutes and all of that i will just go ahead and let it cook i have some rice in here i will be cooking in between the time when we are waiting and then i'll come back to you so let's go and start right now. So I'm going to put basically, these extras can stay over there. I'm going to put in my onion, all my little stuff. I just want to saute down these things a little first. Oh, I'd rather use my hand because it would go much easier. When I do all of this, after I do all of this, and they cook down a little bit. I think I could do with a little bit more oil. Not much, but just a little more. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Okay. So, you see, this is the same thing. This is the uh, chocha, which is the chocha. I took the chocha and I just turned it into small, thin slice. And this is how I do it. You know, you can do it with whatever way you want. But I did it like this in very thin slice. So this way it can cook really fast. Because I'm going to just steam everything down. And by the time I do all of this, to tell you the truth, it probably don't even need any, um, any rice or anything. But we'll see how it is. I'm still going to cook a little rice anyway. So all of this here, garlic, everything going to be down, cooking down into my coconut milk. I keep a little bit of the season, not much. If not, I can put some more into it. I can cut up some more and put in there. All right, so let the, all of that go. I'll put a little more. I'll cut some more onion when I'm all about. So there it is. All these vegetables are going to be sauteing down with my coconut milk. So these are just the seasons left. I'm leaving a couple of the seasons here. So this way now, I'll have the taste of it. Same thing with the garlic. I'll keep a little of it for when everything is almost done. All right. Okay, there it goes. Look at it, look at it. Look how beautiful it looks nice colors you know everything is in there so after this is done saute done with my milk i'm gonna put the whole can of coconut milk because i want it to be nice and juicy there it is good there it is all of this, I'm going to cook it down for at least say, about 10, 15 minutes with the noodle. See my pack of noodle? It says Caribbean country style, dream team. Good. So I won't be putting no more salt into this because everything here has enough salt already. Unless if when I finish cooking and I see need a little salt, then I'll do that. But for now, I'm going to take this. How many minutes you have, brother? Oh, here's some more. 9.37. That one, I'm going to put this in there. Yes, this is supposed to go in there too. This I will put when I'm putting in the fish. Because I don't want that to be too soggy, you know? But all of this can cook down with that. I don't even think I need any rice. This should be just perfect for us. Because it's just the two of us. Yes, there it is. Look, look at it. 
bring it in here, Melo, and let them see it. So what I'm going to do right now, to save time, I will cover this up and I will cook it down for about, say, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, I'll get back to you and I will put my fish in. I will put my, after the 10 minutes is finished, I'm going to put my fish in and I'm going to take all of this up, put my fish at the bottom, pour it back on top of it and leave it for maybe say another 15 minutes. Let it cook properly. And then when it's finished, I'll table it and you will see what it is. So good afternoon. Good evening. This is Marie. Look at me. Oh, look at her. Yes. Today is Sunday. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you. So just watch what I'm doing. This enjoy it while we're doing it. And I hope you return with part two to see the ending balance of what I'm doing. So bye-bye to everyone. Be safe. And I hope you're excited to see part two of this. Okay? Thank you very much. Have yourself a blessed time. And I know you're waiting on me. And I'm waiting for you to see what we're doing again. Too. So I'm going to cover it up right now. Turn it down and simmer. Look at it, uh, um, Mero. Show them again one more time. There it is. It's just bubbling. It's going to slowly, steady, and bubble. And after all of this is done within maybe 15 or 10 minutes, I'm going to put my fish in and I'm going to let it cook down some more. But to save you time, I will just let you see. I'll probably still cook some rice, but I don't even think I'm going to need any rice. So bye-bye. See you later. Hope you have a good time and awaiting this exciting steam fish. Okay? Bye-bye.